December 1st, at a meeting with representatives of the business community, President of Ukraine Petro Poroshenko officially signed a law which aims to protect the rights of businesses and private citizens against unlawful persecution by law enforcement agencies. This law was passed by the Supreme Council of Ukraine on November 16th. In popular usage, this new law is called the Law on quote-unquote Stopping the Mask Parade. This name is a reference to the raids undertaken by masked and heavily armed police or tax police on business offices and private residences. In the past, such raids were often used by national and local government agencies to intimidate businessmen or civic activists for political reasons or with the aim of extorting bribes. And although much has been done to reduce such unlawful raids following the Revolution of Dignity, such raids have not yet been brought to an end. The new law promises enhanced protection of the rights of property owners in Ukraine, better protection of the rights of foreign investors, and an improvement in the general business climate in the country. If the work is happening in the home, in the home, or in the office, it is going to be with new standards. It will be full of fixation, video and sound of the process of the work. So this norm will not only protect the business, but also the citizens who can get into the hands of the government's law until the end of the reformed law system. On December 1st, on the occasion of World AIDS Day, Mobile laboratories in various Ukrainian cities offered free AIDS testing and encouraged people to get tested. The main objective of this action was to draw attention to the very serious problem of AIDS and HIV infection in Ukraine. According to official statistics, over 240,000 Ukrainians are HIV positive, and many Ukrainians are unaware that they have been infected. Sadly, the number of infections is constantly on the rise. And now, most infections are occurring not among intravenous drug users, but rather among those who engage in unprotected sex. Люди у нас не інформовані, люди у нас не має ні сексуального, скажем так, досвіду не має, не виховання сексуального, не в школах ніде. І люди думають, що все добре, а насправді все далеко не добре. In the city of Lutsk in western Ukraine, hundreds of people took part in an AIDS awareness march. The main goal of this march was to express support for people who are living with AIDS or are HIV positive. In the Voling region alone, according to official statistics, over 2,000 people are HIV positive. Не потрібно дискримінувати людей, які живуть з ВІЛ. Це захворювання можна тримати під контролем і підтримувати тих людей, які вже потрапили в таку ситуацію. I'm Tanya Stech. And this was Ukraine in the news. Canal Oden Plus Oden depart the stop in the Bell International Program.